Oh shit. Oh my god, that was a horrible fucking intro. So we got ourselves a new project. Um, a live well. Everybody's doing the really big 40 gallon dog food container. I made one of those, and here's what it looks like, I guess now. Um, wasn't a big fan of it. Too much water, too much weight in the back of the kayak. Uh, just weighed everything down. It was just too heavy. So I made a, a low pro one. Uh, same brand container, just the smaller poundage, I guess you could say. I've had this one, it was a little beat up. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So here's what we got. Got the tsunami pump that everybody's been running. Got the the 90 that came with it to a half inch to the aerator. Built myself a battery box. It's got the tow hitch <laughs> connector, which are, I mean they're waterproof, so shit, why not? Um, here's my switch for the pump, as you can hear it. Um, we'll just pull it out. It's just tight. Oh shit. So there's the front of it. So there's my battery box. I have a five million a five amp hour battery in there right now. And it's not enough runtime. I went fishing Saturday with this feeding my fish finder and the live well. I wanna say I got like four hours out of it. So I'm gonna be getting a ten amp hour. Hopefully I can get eight. Um, let's just start on this side. So got my feed tube going up to my prime bulb, which I left the check valves in. You know, I mean, as you can hear, it works. Um, I can pump it. I'll do one, two, three, and hold, and then I'll turn it on, and then I'll let go, and then it it's ready to go. So I don't have to sit there and prime the crap out of it like a lot of people have been saying. Um, I got this little bracket right here. It's just, it's from a, um, a gate latch. It's just zip tied on. Uh, the holes are still there, but I kind of want that for just extra, just spillover, I guess you can say. Because I don't want this thing filling all the way up. Um, oh, it's just bolted on with silicone both sides it doesn't leak it's watertight which is pretty cool we have ourselves some irrigation stuff for the drain so it's just a swing joint and then just it was a eight six inch extension i believe yeah three quarter inch seven eighths hole and it just it threads in um Got my two rod holders in the back, same thing. Uh, screwed in, mounted, silicone, it's watertight. So there's my aerator. That hole down there that you see, this one, that's gonna be my drain plug, which I'm gonna use the drain that goes in like the back of the boat with the little you, yeah, you pretty much you plug it in, you turn it, and it expands. Uh, stainless steel washers, everything silicone. Um, what else? Same thing over there. And if you can see, there's the swing joint. I don't have a filter on it yet, but I'm going to. I'm gonna get the one that's supposed to go on the bottom of this. I didn't buy the kit, I just bought the pump. But the kit usually comes with the filter or the strainer. And the cool thing is the threads on this pump right here 
are the same as the threads right here on the irrigation stuff. So cross compatibility, which is pretty dope. Um, I mean, it's 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 as simple as it gets. It's just the prime, no extra check valves, no extra everything else like a lot of people have been doing. Uh, try to make it as simple as possible. It's light. And when you're ready, that just feeds in both stopper holes. And then you just slide it forward. And then there it is. It's in. Let's put our lid back on. So you can see that it's a little forward heavy because of the battery. So with my rear tie downs, we'll put those on real quick. Just cross around the back, over the front, like so. Okay. Then a rear one. Just go. Look at that. Done. It's in. I now have myself a low pro bait well. It should hold the kayak scoop from the bait barge out in the ocean. It's pretty much all it's for from what I'm going for a hell of it. But yeah, there you go. Low, if you guys want a low pro setup, something simple, this is, you know, the way to go, in my opinion. I liked the 40 gallon that everybody was using. It was just awkward, uh, especially when the dude at the bait barge had to fill it up. He had to go between me and the way that it angled and he spilled a bunch of shit everywhere and i think this one right here you know open it up and i think he should just have no problem just dumping a scoop inside there and plus it's a lot easier just to grab um i have a bait net which i think will be perfect it's in my truck yeah still gotta get my screen uh, water level should only go up to like right here keeps all that center of gravity here uh, yeah I mean we don't need any extra amount of water as we all know in a kayak because then it kind of it drags you a little bit so three gallons I believe would you know three one two three maybe four i think four gallons will hold in this up to the levels i mean i don't know we'll find out next weekend and then i'll do a how's it working video i guess you can say but yeah if you guys like this if it helped out i mean yeah let me know if you have any other ideas and whatnot let me know well, thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.